Hey everybody, how y'all doing? I'm gonna give you guys a little review and recap on the episode of Steinscape, which is on episode 21. Now, um, I'm gonna give you guys a little update on the Steinscape um, reviews and recaps and so forth. Um, starting around like um, Monday or so, which is tomorrow, I'm gonna like um, try to finish it up as fast as possible. But I'm gonna do it like um, Monday. I'll go go into another Steinscape episode tomorrow Monday night, and then go into Another episode of Steins again on Wednesday night, and hopefully, like, um, I can get on to, like, um, the, the, the other one on Friday night if I can, you know? I'm gonna start to change things up a bit for, for the time being for my Steins Gate specials. I mean, in a couple, I gotta get things going and rolling, because right now a lot of things are already in my head I gotta plan out and take care of, you know? So until then, yeah. Anyways, this episode here on episode 21 of Steins Gate, gotta say, pretty cool, but at the same time, like, um, kind of gets me a little worried here and there, seeing how, like, um, one of our characters is scared, scared here and there because of certain results, and I couldn't stand that, you know, but I was upset about seeing how he, seeing how he's still, like, um, scared itless, you know, but later on, I get, I get it, but it's still, it's kind of bothering me. Well, not too much, but I could, I could understand, I could understand if I were put in that situation, I might have reacted the same way. So if anything else, let's go. Okay, at the beginning we have two of that. Okabe is thinking in his mind like, um, hold up, if we do the hacking and undo this email whatsoever about the one that Makise did, uh, the email about Makise, then things are starting to get, out, then things will get out of hand then. And he decides to stop the hack and wants to do things, tries to f take care of some things, you know. And of course, like um, he's thinking on on the on, on his rooftop and knowing what he's get, he's trying to ask himself, what am I gonna do next, you know, that kind of thing. But eventually, as the time as the episode continues on, we have to it that Mayuri comes in and says, "Hey, Oka Okarin, how you doing?" And you know, she gives him his hat. She gives him her hat to borrow and some water because it's going to be a little hot today. And I'm thinking in my mind, oh, ain't that sweet, you know, that kind of thing. But Okarin is still quiet and still worried, you know. So he decides to go with Mayuri to Komi, Komina or Komika or Komina, whatever, whatever you want to call it, whatever it's set, whatever it is called, you know, <laughs> that kind of thing. But eventually, as time continues on, we see to it that um, that Okarin's thinking back on the mess on the email he's undone. Like each email is like delaying one is has been delaying a day or so before the death of Mayuri. You know, like um, Fatty's Chan's email was undone. Um, we have to it that um, let me see here. What you call it? Ruka's email was undone, and Moeka's email was undone. Well, not really undone, but changed up a bit thanks to FB, which we found, which I found out just yesterday about who many, I mean many hours ago, who FB really was, you know, that kind of thing. But eventually, as time continues on with its procedure here and there, things are still looking bright and up for Ocarine. No, so far, like um. Mayuri hasn't died yet, but apparently, like, um, even so, when it comes to Okarin and Mayuri talking to each other in a dark alley, which is pretty dangerous, because we all know how dangerous dark alleys can be when it comes to ambushing and, and probably some gangsters going in there, you know? You get what I'm, get, you get what I'm saying, but... We have to it that Okarin and Mayuri talking to each other about cosplaying here and then. Okarin's just like, oh yeah, is acting high and mighty with his Hawaiian Kyoma's persona, you know? He's all thinking in his mind, yeah, it's gonna be really cool and ridiculous to see you seeing Ruka, the boy, in a cosplay again, you know? And I'm thinking in my mind, ain't that a fact, you know? It's pretty funny here and there, and I really hope <laughs> things get get pretty crazy, you know? Well, not too crazy, but still. But eventually, you know, we have to it that um, a car is coming and Mayuri's watch is not working. And Okorin, on the other hand, ends up running with Mayuri from the car 
well, I'm not sure if that car is drunk or possibly wanting to kill Mayuri. I mean, this time of Mayuri's death is already set in the alpha line, you know, from where they're at. And Okurin tries to put Mayuri in a safe spot, but you know what? He tries to commit suicide <laughs> crazily, in a crazy way, but Mayuri, Mayuri managed to stop him, you know? Well, push him out of the way, and she took the blow. And she says, I finally did something useful, you know? And Okurin was not happy about this, and he used Time Leap again, which came out out of hand. But eventually, as time as the episode continues on we have to it that Okurin is pretty upset about this and goes on the roof thinking to himself but Christina or Kirisu comes in and says yo what's with you right now what's going on you canceled the hack and so forth we're supposed to say Mayuri or something hello that kind of thing however Okurin did not want to answer anything he was pretty upset and looks at his phone for a bit and I think he wanted to crush it or break it or throw it down but K Makise Kirisu stopped him and says, yo, yo, calm down a bit, okay? Tell me what's going on. What's happening here? Why do you want to stop? What, what's with you changing a couple procedures here and there? Therefore, Okurin decides to give in and tells Kirisu everything like, um, you know, we go in the hack and we try to go here and there. Try to move from the alpha to the beta world line where we used to be. You, un do you understand that? And Kirisu, Makise Kirisu says, yes, I understand that. So, he also gives her, a, gives, him, gives her a reminder that that day, if I undo the D-mail and go back to where we are, you're going to die. Stabbed. I saw you on the floor bleeding. That's what he's telling him. And therefore, this really shocks, shocks Kari, Makase Karisa very much because she did not know about this. Even I don't know about it, you know? Well, I did know about it, but, ah, sorry, I didn't make any sense right there. And therefore, she ends up thinking hard about this and trying to like uh, figure out what what to do. But we have to it that Mayuri calls calls Okabe Okarin and talks to him for a bit. Goes like, "Hey, how are you doing? You know, um, Daru told me that you weren't feeling well. Your face was kind of like I'm in a gloomy situation where you're not too happy or something." And Oka Okabe tells it, "No, everything's okay. You know." And therefore, there were a couple moments about this thing, about Byaku, Seiyu, Suzuku, you know, these kinds of rhymes of a certain name, you know, that Okurin gave to Mayuri, and Mayuri, like, um, has a little small talk about it, you know. And Mayuri apologizes to Okurin, saying that, I'm real sorry, you know, I, I really, I was so focused on the Komina, or Komika, that I did not even know how you're feeling, like, um, I just left you out in the dust, like, if you were not even there. And Mayuri's like, hey, you let if you want to talk to me, you let me know. I'll have a little couple things here and there, you know? And therefore, he hangs up and she hangs up. And Kiris, Kirisu tells Okarin, like, you should go to her right now, okay? Just go, alright? If you don't, you're going to hurt my pride and so forth and so on. And I just think in my mind, do you even have any pride? Well... I don't know exactly, but she does, though I don't even remember it, or I don't even, like, um, look in, look into it as often. <laughs> talk about, like, uh, talk about crazy, huh? Anyways, um, as the episode continues with its pr procedure here and there, things were starting to look a little, things were starting to go normal. Okabe calls Daru after Mayuri didn't pick up her phone, and therefore, Okabe figures out a certain place where Mayuri is and she's in front of her grandmother's grave. She therefore talks to her grandmother in, in front of a grave, if anything, telling her like, um, you know, grandma, I've been having some very scary dreams that I've been shot, I've been, been into car accidents, a train hit me, you know, things were starting to look a little bad, you know, but Okurin is always there to save me, but I tried to say thank you, but he wasn't there to, I, he, 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 he would never hear it. And I'm thinking in my mind, dear Lord, this is really, this is really, this is really starting to hurt right now, you know, that kind of thing. But, yeah. So, we have to it that, Marie says, what am I supposed to do, Grandma? I don't know what am I supposed to, because back then I remember meeting him, like, the first time, and then I always clean up his lab, you know, and he, he never, he never says, I'm back. He just says, good work, you know, and there are some tender moments between Marie and 
Okabe, like, um, as if two couples, you know? But eventually, you know, as time continues on, maybe it's like, can, is there a way I can change, you know? That kind of thing. And Okabe, like, um, says, hey, you don't have to do anything, okay? Just be what you need to be and who you are or something. That's what matters. Well, I don't think he really said that, but a certain subtitle is the way how I re how I like him perceive it might be saying that. And therefore, Minyuri is like, how'd you know where I am? And Okabe says, I always know where you are, okay? And so forth. Therefore, he end after a couple small talks with Mayuri, he therefore tells Mayuri, like, I'll tell you everything when the time comes, okay? And so forth. And then the episode ends off with Makase Karisu, like, looking at a couple things and possibly some lights and possibly a certain corridor where possibly her body has been stabbed in the beta world line. So, don't know. So, overall, pretty cool episode, you know. I don't know what's really gonna happen, but guarantee it's gonna be pretty hectic from here on out, you know. Because right now, he has a choice to make. Save Mayuri and go to the Beta World line, and sacrifice Makase Kurisu, which he died in that line. Or try to find out other multiple ways, but no matter what, the, the event is set into stone, no matter how much you try to change it. It ain't gonna work, that kind of thing. So, overall, episode came out pretty cool. Next episode, don't know what's gonna happen, but it seems pretty regular to me, but... We'll just have to find out what's going to happen anyway. So I'll see you guys in my um, next video for tomorrow. And I might see you guys for my next Steins Gate um, episode review and recap on 22 and so forth. Okay, I'm off a little. Have a good day. And I'll see you guys next time. Right? Peace out. Bye-bye.